What's up, family? It's your girl, Smart Sister, here uh, for another uh, segment. And today I want to talk about Black Friday. Okay, even though it's Saturday, but I want to talk about Black Friday, the whole holiday season. And what I want to say to everyone is you need to make Black Friday Black by day every day of the week. Now, am I crazy enough to think that you can get everything in your life that you need from a black business? Uh, no, unfortunately, we haven't uh, progressed to that point. But that should be the goal. You should be able to turn your money around in your own community or it with your own people, online, wherever, for every single need that you have. And that's when we will make it as a people. Okay, is if you can go get some tires from a black man or woman, you can go buy your clothes, your deodorant, your damn toilet paper, everything. All right. That's when I'm going to gauge that we are where we should be as a community. And until that happens, that's when why we need to keep supporting black businesses. And for all y'all simple Simon motherfuckers out there that want to act like, a black business is not up to par. Okay, some may not be. But the thing is, you can bring to a black person is, you better get your stuff on point. And, you know, I'm going to help you. I'm going to support you. But you're going to have to give me some support. You're going to have to uh, be professional and business-like because ain't nobody else going to buy from your ass. Let's go and keep that 100. How many black businesses are in business that are making their money from white people? I'm willing to bet, bet none hardly, according to what you're selling. Because basically, once again, because of the intergenerational trauma that we have as a people, that we, like I said, are simple Simons and don't even want to support your own and would rather go spend your money with the people that hate you and don't like your black ass. That's the point. That's where we at in terms of not being about our business. Okay? If you have a problem with a black business or you didn't research, re receive the type of service you think you should, let them know because they need you. Black businesses uh, survive because black people spend their money with them. So you need to remind them of that and get the service that you deserve. Okay, I've never uh, supported no uh, substandard shit. Black people need to be about excellence. Okay, and then the next thing, you know, what is it with some of us that we so scared we're going to help another black person that you'd rather go spend your money with uh, somebody that has oppressed you for centuries? Now, think about it. Think about just you. Just take you. I can't speak for everybody but all right just as an individual how much money are you spending on food for the holidays alcohol for the holidays the gas you spent to go buy all that shit going to malls all over the country trying to uh find that certain pair of red bottoms that you want or whatever, different gifts, different whatever. Uh, like I've said before with our kids, how many educational uh, toys or, or books or whatever have you bought for your child? Now, your child clean as a motherfucker, dressed <clears throat> to the nines, got every gadget, everything you could think of, and they dumb as fuck. They can't read and they can't count and they can't do math or they can't do shit. All right. That's what I'm talking about. We got to get past all of this and start supporting our own people and our own businesses and build the community that we need where we can go to our people to get anything that we need. That's what I'm talking about. If you want to talk about Black Friday, we need to be a black by day, like I said, and we need to have a boycott where you totally buy everything you're going to need as much as you can from a black business. It's not going to kill you, and there's plenty of them online, and I'm probably going to give you all some ideas in uh, some future videos, but we got to start building this business thing and get our shit where we got to go. Or shut up. 
Let the white folks keep doing what they're doing to you because uh, that's what you used to. That's what you want because you're not taking your money and building institutions that we need to in order uh, to enable our future and our children's future. You know, if you're totally a damn uh, consumer and you don't produce anything, come on. You're going to be able to be bought and paid for every time. And that's what we got to get away from. That's what we got to change. That's what we got to work on. And I mean actually go buy something. Don't be talking all this hotel shit and you ain't bought a damn thing from nobody black this whole holiday season. And there's plenty of places you can go and find people with businesses and buy something from them. Make it a point. That's what I do. That's what my friends do. That's how we're going to be able to change our situation. Other than that, you're going to be begging for a job for the rest of your damn life and pissed off when you get fired. And, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? Well, you know, everybody's not cut out to uh, be a business person. I understand that. But you can spend your money with a black business who can then turn it around and, and, and give you a damn job. That's what we got to get to, people. So really, in this season, let's do the right thing. Think about what you're doing. Take some time to research and figure out uh, a business that you can support. Something. Because other than that, what is the point? We, we, we wonder why, we, why white folks ain't got nothing to worry about. It's just that. Because we don't do what we're supposed to do. We can change our situation whenever we so choose. It's just that's the point. We got to understand it, and we got to make the right choices. So that's it for this one, and I will see y'all. I'm going to make another one and get back on track for Wednesday. So this is a little extra one, I guess, for this week, and I appreciate you guys. And please, like I said, email me at smartsistert.com if you uh, – what am I saying? smartsistert at gmail.com is my uh, email address and um, give me any ideas of anything that you'd like for me to talk about. All right. So you all have a great weekend. Spend some money with some black folks and I'll see y'all later.